For the 32 sword form, we start with readiness posture. For the readiness posture, feet together, pointing forward. Left hand holding the sword, index finger pointing downward. Other fingers wrap around from both sides. Palms facing backward. For the left hand, curl it into sword finger, index finger, and middle finger. Stay together, extended. Thumb pressing the first section of green finger and little finger. At the beginning, ready position. Palms facing the side of your body. Keep your body upright. Take a deep breath, then sink your energy down. Bending your knees, put all your weight on your right leg. Step your left foot sideway, pressing the toe first, then your heel, then shift your body weight to the center of your body. At the same time, ideally, you open up your arms. That means moving arms away from your body a little bit. At the same time, turning the sword finger facing backward, just like the hand holding the sword. Readiness. Open stance. Now your feet shoulder width apart, and both your palms facing backward. Raise your arm forward, shoulder level. Sink your energy down. Lower your wrist. Bend your knees. Swing your arms, both of your arms slightly to the left. Then moving up, your left hand to the right corner, pressing down right finger. Then circle it up. Now your arms forming a Tai Chi fish. The armoring in front of the chest is like a fish head. And the sword finger pointing upward like a fish tail. The footwork is just to bring the left foot back to your right foot. Tap your forefoot on the ground. Make them ready for the next step. From the open stance, raise arm up, swing to the left, swing to the right. Taiji fish. Now you finish the Taiji fish posture. We are ready to move next. Turn your body facing forward direction. Step your left foot out. Heel touch ground first. At the same time, bend your arms so your sword finger moving towards your ear while you're shifting your weight from right leg to left leg. You brush your left hand to the left side, push the sword finger forward. This movement is like brush and push, brush knee and push in the hand form. We'll do it together again. From the open stance. This is the second step of the first one. Push sword finger in both stands. Now starting from here, the next step is extend arms in sitting stance. You step your right foot forward, heel touch first, then gradually shift your weight to the center of your body. At the same time, lift your eye arms Cross your left hand over your right hand. Turn the body and extend it, both hands in opposite directions. This is called extend hands or extend arms in half sitting stance. Now from here, we move to next step. Hands together in both stance. 
You step your left foot forward. Heel touch first. Bend your arms. Push your third fingers, shifting your body weight. Now you bring both hands together in front of your chest, forming arm ring in front of your chest in both stance. Left leg bent, front right leg naturally extended, knee toe pointing in the same direction. The last step. Point sword. With feet together, you bring your right foot forward by your left foot. Heels on the ground. Grab the sword from the left hand and point the sword downward. Wrist is about shoulder level. Sword is forty-five degree from the level. Okay. Starting from the readiness posture, bend your knees. Weight on your right leg. Open. Raise arms, shoulder level. Swing to the left slightly. Then make a touchy fish on your right side. Turn the body. Brush left hand to your left side. Push right sword finger forward. Stepping right heels forward, left hand cross right hand, turn the body, extend both hands in opposite directions. Stepping left foot forward, armoring front of chest in both stance. Sword, point sword downward with the feet together. We finish the first movement. Hold sword with feet together. <laughs>